Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your epic crafting items step by step in World of Warcraft Season of Discovery Phase 2. To get the new recipes, you have to head into the new Rake Numerican. Inside, you can get a grime encrusted salvage from mobs and bosses. You can also buy this from the auction house before you enter. With this, head to the Salvage Matic 9000, which can be found in the clean zone inside Nomerigan, next to Siri, the ranch Little Sprocket. After cleansing the item, you talk to Siri to get the quest Salvaging the Salvage Matic. She asks you to bring the following items: 10 Mithril bars, 5 Greater Mystic Essences, 3 GG1202 cartridge fuses. You can obtain this from mechanical mobs inside the raid like mechanized sentries, guardians or bosses like the electrocutioner 6000 and lastly one pristine G7 core processor. This last one is a lot of work, it's on a long quest chain. First you go out of the instance and kill Techbot to get a corroded G7 core processor. You can find him when entering the path north of the instant after using the elevator down in American. Go straight through the big room until you find Techbot alone in a room on the left. He's an elite mob. After looting it, you receive the quest, the Corroded Core. Go with this inside of Nomerican and talk to Siri. She sends you to Scooty in Booty Bay. Talk to him to get the quest Quadrangulation. Now you have to go to the following four locations to activate four beacons. The first is in Dustwell Marsh at this location, underwater by a boat. The next one is in Desolace at this location near the Hort Town at the mountain. The third one is in Tenaris at the mountain west of Gadgetsan. The last one is in Pharrellis, south of the Alliance Town Fedamon Stronghold, at the south of Isle of Dread. You can activate them at any specific order. After activating all beacons, you go back to Scooty. Use the teleporter behind him to get ported to Pharrellis to get the quest Warranty Claim from the Gnome Wordle Wonder Gear. Now you need to get a charged Void Core. To get this, you first go back to Pharrellis and kill Naga south of Fedamon Stronghold until you get a spent Void Core. This will take a while to drop, so bring some time. Next step is to kill mobs until the shadowy figure, which a lot think is Xalata from retail by the way, spawns. It's the same NPC from our first epic quest chain in phase 1. It's not quite clear at the moment if you have to kill demons in Manor Rock Coven and Desolace or if you can kill any mob in the world. She seems to spawn after a random amount of kills, but to be sure, go to Desolace and kill demons in Manor Rock Coven for now. That's how I got her to spawn. Be warned, your sword and Nagas took long. This will take a while. I killed one hour long demons until she appeared, but I hope you have more luck than me. After she spawns, talk to her and make sure you have her back slot free. She gives you a mode of darkness. Combine it with your spent void core to receive a charged void core. With this, you can return to Beauty Bay, use the teleporter to Feralas and turn the quest in at the gnome. After getting all the items, you go back to Nomerigan and turn the quest finally in at Siri. Now you can buy your recipe for your epic crafting item. You can also buy blue recipes for 15 gold for materials for your profession here. To get all components for your Biss Epic Helmet, you need other players with different professions to make those materials. Only with them you can craft your item. Happy grinding! And if you found this helpful, consider to like and subscribe for more World of Warcraft Season of Discovery content.